everybody welcome back to my channel hope you're having a great week so far today's video is a Zoya haul I recently saw that they were having a heck of a deal going on on their website they had certain trios of polishes that you could pick up and you could get three trios for the price of $45 they also to sweeten the deal went ahead and threw in their replacement brushes and caps so these retail I think they're like two dollars a piece and I, I don't ever get them because of having to pay the extra cost but when they threw it in for a deal to go along with these polishes I knew I had to pick it up so I got nine colors plus the brushes for $45 it's give or take. So what I have here is just ones that were really speaking to me. I don't remember how the trios actually went. So let's go ahead and share with you guys what I picked up. So the first color here is going to be this beautiful brown cream. This is called, I think you say that, Kateri. Not really sure. Please correct me if I am incorrect on that pronunciation. But I don't have many colors like this. I have one from OPI. Love that brown. This is a little lighter. It is kind of like a milk chocolate brown in my opinion. They list this as a midnight brown cream, which it's it's just beautiful. It is such a gorgeous color. Perfect for fall manicures. I will definitely be reaching for that one. So this is what it looks like in two coats. None of these swatches have any top coat over them. I was astonished when I let the, after I let these dry, how glossy they actually were without top coat. Now you will want top coat for longevity purposes with your manicure, but if you're in a hurry, I could see you just applying a couple coats of a Zoya polish like this and you can be ready to go out the door no problem. So that is what two coats of Kateri looks like. The next one here is this color called Michaela, and it is a dusty purple taupe cream. This is a shade that I absolutely love to wear. It I don't wear them enough. I have a few in my collection, but when <laughs> this deal came up, I just couldn't pass on it. So this is just a gorgeous color. It's coming off a little bit more purpley on camera than it looks to be in person. In person it's definitely much more of a mauve shade of polish but nonetheless it is absolutely a beautiful color. And Each of these polishes formula was fantastic. This is two coats of Michaela. It is gorgeous. It's such a beautiful color for fall. So so pretty. It is two coats of Michaela. The next polish is a brighter boysenberry shade. This is called Ripley, and it is described as a boysenberry cream. But this is beautiful. It was such a gorgeous color. This one resembles one that I have from OPI that I tried. Didn't care for the formula of that one, so I'm excited to try this because this one definitely seemed to be more opaque than the OPI polish that I have in my collection. So this is what two coats of Ripley looks like and it is just a beautiful color. For this time of year I love my deeper tones, the the mauves, the berries, even you know, like your deeper reds, browns, things like that. They're my go-to for the fall and winter season. So that is two coats of Ripley. Then we're getting into some of the like green shades. So we have this one here called Danica and this polish is described as a rich deep teal polish Again gorgeous colors for this time of year. I think on camera it is coming off a little bit more blue based in person I'm seeing much more of that green teal base to the polish It is just a gorgeous polish. I do have colors that are similar, but I know there's a few that I don't care for so adding this to my collection was a definite yes. This is it in two coats 
and it is just just as gorgeous as all the other ones. I was not disappointed by these polishes as I swatched them, which is a great thing because you know if you're a polish lover like me, you can swatch polishes and it's like okay, they're not as good as I thought they were gonna be. <laughs> but these did not disappoint. They're absolutely beautiful in two coats, fully opaque, wonderful formulas. So that is two coats of Danica. Then I have, I think this is kind of like an army green. And when I saw this one, I knew that I needed to pick it up. I don't have colors like this in my collection. With the array of polishes that I do have, it is very surprising. I had one on my list from Orly. And it's it's an olive-based green. And they thought, no, I, they're expensive. I don't want to pay full price for Orly. So when I saw this deal and saw this trio I thought it was definitely worth it. So this is called Mel and it is a slightly muted forest green cream. Absolutely a beautiful color. One that I knew I had to get because I thought I'd been looking for colors like this. $45 for nine Zoyas plus the brushes. It was too good of a deal. And this is what it looks like in two coats. I was astonished by this. I was floored by the way each of these applied. I have had it where other polishes, like I said, are disappointing, and these did not disappoint me whatsoever. So that is what two coats of Mel looks like. Then we're getting into like the blues and blue-gray colors. That Again, these were trios that were speaking to me. And I knew that I needed to just, just get them because they were too good of a deal to pass up. So this one is going to be the next one, and this is in the color Lou. And it is described as a deep spruce blue cream. And on camera, I feel like it's coming off a little bit more blue-based than what it is in person. In person, it's definitely like a blue-gray, but it is a beautiful color absolutely gorgeous for this time of year so this is it in two coats no top coat absolutely a beautiful polish perfect for fall perfect for winter very very pretty so that is two coats of blue then there is this one which is like a blue gray polish this is called Tommy, and it is a blue-toned slate gray cream. I loved that I was able to pick up cream polishes because then that'll allow me to add something else to them if I choose to. I was not into the overly shimmery polishes that they had in trios, so when I saw that they had all these creams, I was definitely excited about it. This is a beautiful color. I love colors like this. It is just such a unique shade. I actually don't have anything that is similar to this. I did some comparisons after I got these and none of them were spot-on dupes, so that's exciting. Here it is in two coats. Again, wonderful formula. Opacity was astonishing as it was with all of these. So this is two coats of Tommy. And then I have two more here. So we have this one, which is the only shimmer that I picked up. This one is called Etta. And it is a vampy Cabernet polish with a hint of violet micro pearl in it. It is a very pretty polish. This one surprised me. I did not expect it to be as fully opaque as it actually turned out to be. So when I saw that I was like this is beautiful it is such a beautiful color gorgeous polish here it is in two coats and this one also dried down rather shiny as you could see here on my swatch it just dried down I thought it was going to be a matte to be honest or a semi matte and it dried down rather shiny in just two coats it was fully opaque absolutely wonderful formula. So that is two coats of Etta. And the last one I have is a bright vibrant purple. This polish is called Kiara and it is just a deep purple cream. 
this one actually surprised me also. I have one from Zoya that I mentioned before. I think it's called Lena, and that polish was very disappointing. It was a very thin, watery consistency. It didn't apply well. It didn't wear well. And I thought, is this going to be the same for this one? This was absolutely one heck of a beautiful polish to apply. Absolutely gorgeous. This did not disappoint like the other one I have did. So this is what it looks like in two coats and that opacity you guys is just absolutely astonishing. I was afraid as I said that it was going to be like the Lena polish I have that I've worn in previous um, monthly or yeah monthly Manny roundup videos. I've shared it that one is actually most likely going to end up being de-stashed because I, I can't get over the formula of that one. It's terrible. But this one, even with the small brushes, these all applied absolutely amazingly. And I can't imagine how much easier it'll be with the bigger brushes. So that is exciting. This is two coats of Kiara. Alright guys, that is everything that I picked up. I, you can get your hands on this deal don't hesitate. You get such an amazing deal on these polishes plus the brushes that it just, I just knew I had to get it. So that's it for now, guys. Hope that you have a great week. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I hope that you guys enjoy and we'll see you next time.